So I've got three locking points, one, two, three, and if we go around the other side here, I'll just hold that back so we can close the door. Just set that down like that, close the door, you need to put the handle horizontal, and then with the handle in the right place, the lock will then turn and the key will then release, okay? That's quite important, I won't be able to help you with that unfortunately. I know it's poor service, customer service poor, but I will be a little tied up at the time. Yeah. <laughs> now, we're going to turn that back like that, and then we do that, and then I'm going to open the door. Straight as we open the door, we're going to have to put it back in that position. I, I, I'm labouring the point here a bit, aren't I? I think it's almost like I'm milking for material. That, that's, that's, that's now in that position, and then we're going to put that bar there, and then the door's nice and secure. You know, welcome to a wonderful prison room. The lights, and this is important, the lights are the top button that says MT lights, interior, INT lights, interior lights. And when they've been on for a while, I mean like uh, 10 minutes or so, they start flashing. You have to turn them off by pressing the button and turn them back on again. This is a full induction to be a training course for how to run one of these units. Okay, so on train. Come, come on board. I'm sorry I didn't get the floor washed. Yeah. I do appreciate things are a little bit grubby around here. Oh yes, 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 yes. Yes. I need to get my ladder back out, don't I? It's amazing, uh, isn't it? It is, isn't it? So we do have we do have the uh, complete setup here. We have three cells on this side, we have three cells on that side. Each cell has a triple locking mechanism on it. The first locking mechanism is like a night latch, so as soon as you slam the door shut, the door is locked. The second locking mechanism, you rotate the key and it will then deadlock the night latch lock. The final stage, you put a separate key in here, which is recessed into the metalwork, and that puts a deadlock out at the top and the deadlock out at the bottom. And if any of these locks are disturbed, it will indicate on the panel behind me. It will also indicate on the remote panel that I'm going to put outside with audible warning. So you will be aware when I release those locks. We do have the escape hatches on the roof, which um, obviously obviously was a start of a 10 with regard to, get, to getting out of here. Because I know I'm quite a slim guy, but that gap under the door, I'm having a job. I'm not an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> octopus escapology, that'd be amazing. Four sets of handcuffs. Anyway, um, yeah, um, so the, the, uh, what we have is we have a trap above each one of these, and the idea behind that is if the, if the van was to roll over, those traps could then be released to get the prisoners out, or if the door locking mechanism's jammed, those traps could be released to rescue them. So this is the backup plan. It's a great backup plan. As you can see up here, we've got a lever here and we have a lever here. And we'll go around the outside, there's a second lever there and there's a second lever there that would have been inside the cab. There is a, there is a mechanism that runs the length of the truck on the side here. That lever there operates the mechanism, but the lever on the outside has to be operated at the same time. So you need to pull that lever and also that lever in order to move this across, in order to release the roof hatches. Are we all good with that? Do we, do we, do we understand? Now, the problem I've got is that this has been stood around in the weather for an awfully long time, and the two levers on the outside are see solid. So the only way I can get this to move is to release the linkage from the lever on the outside with this bolt located here in my hand. I'm going to demonstrate that the, uh, that the locking mechanism on this works and that the alarm on this, or, or on this works and then I'm going to put the bolt back in which then means it will release. Are we all happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not only a prison truck guys, it's a broken prison truck. How about that? Marks and Spencers need that on their adverts I'm sure. Now, oh dear. But before I do that there's something I need to set up. Um, right, 
So what we've got is we've got the panel in there, and I've taken signals from the panel in there to this little lead panel here, which is similar, a similar arrangement to how it would have been on the truck. So there would have been a guard travelling in the back, and there would have been a guard travelling in the cab. And the guard travelling in the cab would have indication with regard to status of the security system inside the back, so you could monitor the prisoners. Are we good with that? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So this is what the guard in the cab would have had in my, re my, my imagination, because I've never seen that unit that kind of got lost long before this unit found its way to So when I trip alarms inside here, I've only brought the critical ones out, the other ones I've locked it on. When I trip alarms inside there, you should get a red indication on there, you should get a buzzer, and we should also get an indication on there. It's going to be a surprise to anybody when this actually happens because it doesn't look like I wired it, it's more like I knitted it. Okay. <laughs> uh, what I've just done there is I've opened the rope hatches on the offside. That's that side, the side I'm on. Alan, Alan. Do it again, do it again, Tim. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, that's all well and good in terms of the grand scheme of things. However, it, it, it would be unfair if it was just one angle to release that. When on the real thing, it would be two angles. Do you agree? Yep. Yeah. So at this point, I need to think of the spanner. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is it a spanner or is it a wrench? Well, oh, oh, now then, Chris, I, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to uh, pass that question across. Is it a spanner or is it a wrench? One is a spanner and the other one's a wrench. One, one of each. One of each. The uh, yeah. wrench is the adjustment. Yeah, the this is all a bit seized up. Now, I was hoping, I was hoping, you know, because I do like a bit, I do like a bit of audience participation. I was hoping you were going to say that to him just leave it on one later. Because of course that's going to make it so easy to But, hey. Yeah, but your team, your team, you got me. <laughs> we, do, we do things proper here in Yorkshire. This is a Yorkshire escape, so we're going to put this on. We are going to put this back on. Now, I'm just going to demonstrate the operation of the other lever. In fact, I'm going to get somebody else to demonstrate the operation of the other lever. Yeah, that, yeah, pull the lever. Yeah. So in order to release the rope hatches, I need to release that lever and the other one at the same time while I'm inside the cell. I can't see a problem with that myself.
position because we've got no indication, we've got no indication on the panel to say that's all not. Right, I'm just going to go put these spanners back in my van because I'm old and I'll forget. What's your problem? We do, we do have mains on. So, right, so if I, if I was to, if I was to get this T-handle key from here, I was to put T-handle key into there, and I was to unlock the door from there, and then unlock that, we're going to get cell doors open on there, we're going to get cell doors open on there, and we're also going to get that. So when I do successfully release the, when I do successfully release the door catches, we're going to get that. So what, what I'm going to do is, I'm to, to cancel it, I'm going to lock that, and I'm going to lock that as well. So that is now, that is now locked, and the alarm has now shut up. Are we happy with that so far? Yeah. So if I try to go out to a roof trap, I've got to release that and release that, and that'll trip an alarm. Try to get out to this door, I've got to release that, which is recessed inside there, plus that dimple lock and that will also trip an alarm. And what I intend to do is get out of this without tripping an alarm. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, that's 
just pass those around. Yeah. Pass those around. That's what Joshua always wanted. Yeah. I'll put her in a very nasty black and white short. And then, of course, I, I've, got my, uh, I've got my vest. Because my mum said I shouldn't go out without a vest on. So I've got my vest to keep me nice and warm. So if you're anybody would like to have a look at that, because hopefully, I'm hoping you're going to check it and you're going to find out what I have got the spare key. Or not that. Naturally, I've got my, uh, my socks, the red socks, the red socks, the red socks which you need. I'm going to pick up loads out on my boats, but the rest of it we have. Hey, please, brutality. Is 
that is that locked, sir? Are you happy with that? Yeah. Absolutely, I'm, 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 I'm so happy. Ah! Need that one. Definitely solid. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm going to go through there, I'm going to go through there, and do like that. Let's go through, let's, let's go through everything. I, I, I went through two ways, two of the aspects, and I didn't know about that. I'm happy with that. Yeah. But then, um, I used to put it in that place. No. I thought we had the dilapid place for this one. Send it back. Ha 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 You see why I can't get any assistance? I'm just horrible. Uh, I'll have a 
large meat feast uh, with extra handcuff keys, okay? <laughs> I also want every combination of Herbaflot keys available to me as well on the pizza. Oh yeah. Oh. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the fat. Yeah. You're hiding behind the door, buddy, aren't you? Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. I know I'm horrible. Let's have your lot there, mate. The final lock. You see, I really thought that just inside the cell, with the cell locked, that was for chickens. I thought, what I would do is I'd put an extra D-ring inside the cell. And then I'd take all this, uh, with padlock number three, this is where Matt and I gained a new friendship, which we were never previously aware of. Uh, you had no idea that joining the UK here could be so traumatic, did you? Very well. Have we had a look in the cellar? We're happy this now, haven't we? We've had a look around, guys. So who's been in this cell? Mad dog, apparently, according to the dog. Evil dog. I tell you what, you wouldn't want to meet him on a dark night, would you? He'd be a bit rough. Yeah, Jeff Retton in there, ain't there? Jenny in there, ain't there? I don't know. Oh. I thought I don't know. I think, <laughs> wasn't it the Yorkshire Ripper's been in here? I don't reckon he did much in here though. It's not a lot of room. Um, right, are we happy that's all fastened, guys? Because this is getting a bit cold. Does anybody want any more photos? Yes, please. Can I get Yeah, yeah. Can anybody get any more photos?
10 minutes